Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, I'm in the new version of Scout 2.0, and this is just going to be a little brief overview of the text tool right here. And, you know, it may be a little different compared to the first version. So we're going to see what's new, you know, what's different, what's, what's going on with it. So right here's the text tool. I'm just going to type out the words Scrappy Do S C R A P P Y D E W. So all right. So if you're new to Scout, you do not know what it is. All all it really is is uh, you know, it's a program that will allow you to uh, connect with your Cricut and allows you to cut, you know, sort of what you see. You know, what you see is what you get, and it will use any font that is installed on your computer in order to send it to your Cricut. So all right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, we got the text text out there right now. I'm going to hit the little pointer tool, the selection tool. I'm just going to select the text. As you can see, the text box pops up and we're allowed to uh, to change fonts. You know, any font that's installed on the computer. So, um, let's go ahead and select that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and you know drag this over so we can see what's going on. So, Alright, so we have that. Um, this is what this is one thing that's new. Your view, uh, all it is is sort of like uh, you know you you can select all of the fonts. You know you can see all the fonts. You know, but say you have uh, you know 3,000 fonts installed on your computer and you just have a couple favorites, you can go down to your favorites and you know select from your favorites group. Uh, in order to add a favorite, you know all you have to do is select the font that you that you like and hit the uh, hit that little heart with the plus because that's uh, that's one of the new things. So all right, um, let's go ahead and get get down with, uh, with this with this box right here. Um, the text size you can increase the text, you know, bigger, smaller, you know. So that's that's self-explanatory. You can use the arrows or you can uh, you know type it in manually. The width. You know, does what it says is going to change the width of your letters. So, say you have something like this, uh, you know, and you can go ahead and click the weld button, and we'll hit preview. And as you can see, what weld does is uh, wherever the letters connect, it's grayed out because the Cricut will not cut anything that's uh, that's grayed out there. So, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and change that width back down. To, uh, to that, and now tracking, tracking, uh, you know, an another word for this, you know, in, in Inkscape terms is going to be kerning, and all it is is, uh, you know, moving those letters closer together, you know, just so you can, you know, you can even weld that way, so let's go ahead and do a preview, and as you can see, uh, wherever they overlap, uh, it's not going to cut. So that's a pretty cool feature that they, they added in, and the same thing with the the V offset, all it is is vertical offset, and you can manipulate uh, up and down. Now, as you can see, it's only working, uh, working, working the letters as a group, and that's because uh, in Scout 2.0, whenever you type uh, type full words, uh, they're going to be automatically grouped. Um, now, to change them individually, all you have to do is uh, have it selected and go to Object Ungroup, and then you are allowed to manipulate the uh, the letters. Like so. So that's kind of cool, uh, kind of neat. Um, one of the one of the great new features that they added is you can do a select all, you know, by dropping a box around that or go to uh, to edit select all. But uh, but that will that will select it all. Now I want to show you something that uh, that you may see is if you select everything, then you can go back to object group. And that uh, that means every time you click on it, it's just going to put that big old bounding box around it, and you're able to move it. Now, say you wanted to edit the text in there, well, you're going to have to uh, you know ungroup it in order to see it, because uh, as you can see, I'm, I selected this, but no text property box has appeared over there in my right uh, my right workstation panel. So in order to get that, we're just like I said, we're just going to go to object ungroup, and you know we can we can reselect individually. Or collectively and change the font. So as you can see, I'm going to go to favorites and I'm going to choose my favorite font, and it, you know, changed it back to the favorite. So that's all that's uh, that's going on in these fonts. You know, uh, I didn't touch up on on this. You know, that self-explanatory bold italics, and this right here, this uh, little, it's a it's a refresh button. So say you uh, you installed a font 
and it's not showing up on your drop down menu, uh, go ahead and hit that refresh button and you should be able to find it. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDude.com and I will see you next time. Thank you.